Hey, my Salman here from Super Game Buds TV and an exciting video. This one is a tutorial on how to wave shine in Smash Bros. 4. Oh, hold on a sec. Alright, so first of all, we need to learn how to uh, perfect pivot. If you don't know what that is, uh, there's um, I'll put a link in the description in the video where you can look up the technique yourself. But basically, you um, you quickly tap the control stick in one direction, and then let go and tap in the other one, and I mean really, really quick to perfect pivot. Basically, perfect pivoting is like the new wave dash, as what people are saying, because <laughs> there's a lot of things you can do out of it. Basically, you could do tilts, you could do jabs, specials even, smash attacks, it's just endless. So you see right there, basically like wave dash, isn't it? It's pretty interesting. Alright, now I'm going to show you something even more advanced. It's hard enough to do this as it is. Now, try wave shining. Like even in melee, that was really difficult. I found an easy way though. I map the C stick as my specials. It makes a lot easier wave shine, I find. Because you don't have to press two other buttons, so there's only two buttons. Well, three actually. <laughs> and as you can see, it's it's very hard to do. It's not easy. So, here we go. Watch and learn. Alright. <laughs> Anytime now. Now, just to let you guys know, I did get a blister from doing this. It's very hard on the hands, and it's very hard on the controller. Basically, like Wave Dash was, and all that kind of advanced stuff. If you're good at it, eh, you're, you're definitely gonna um, probably do really good in the competitive Smash if you get Master this. If not, well, and the other one can, then. Too bad. Alright. So here we go. One, two, three. You see? Wave shining. Very hard to do. I, I'm sorry that I'm not very good at this yet, but... I only practice maybe... Well, one day or two days basically trying to figure this technique out. So... Anyways, yeah, that's wave shining. Well, that's right there is perfect pivot, and is when you see when I slide, and I'm still in the same direction when I slide. Sadly, you can't grab the ledge as well, but because of the new ledge mechanics. But yeah, basically, this is Smash 4's version of wave dash. I don't know if Brawley can do this. I don't know. I've, and I haven't seen too many people do this online, like, because it's just really hard to do. <laughs> but it's a good spacing tool. It gives you a lot of options, like, you can quickly go back and then go in with an attack. It's great. <laughs> you could even, uh, you know, you could jump out of it, basically. Once you land, I'm sorry that made no sense, but yeah, see, it's it's in progress. I find that it's a lot more harder to do a wave dash because you have to be very, very quick. If you don't have quick reflexes, then you're gonna struggle with this. I haven't done really any technique, but what I do is I kind of take the very, very tip of my joystick and I. Flick it very, 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 very fast. That's the only thing I can think of. So you can see, I instantly bring out a shine and I slide with it. So, for those people wondering, yes. Wave shining is in this game. <laughs> Are we expect to see someone like Mongol and all that stuff? People from the, the Melee Pros play this now because of this? I don't know. Probably not. Because it's just, it's not as fluid as Wave Dash. 
and it's just really iffy to pull off. Like, if you're online and there's lag and stuff, I, I generally wouldn't say to do this online. <laughs> Although the quick, quick dash cancels I showed in the beginning of the video are very, very good. I recommend to learn those. Probably better than this move. <laughs> so, anyways, that's, uh, yeah, that's wave shining. I know you guys are wondering, oh, can you can you shine cheek? Well, I'm getting there. Just give me a sec. Alright. Fire! I know, it's such an annoying voice he has. Land Master! I know, it's just awful, isn't it? Yeah, see? It's like melee wave dashing. Look at that, I can do specials. I can space on my specials. That's just incredible. I was obviously people have a lot of hand, um, time on their hands to figure out stuff like this. And later on, I'm going to show you in slow motion. In slow motion, just how I basically did that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. Um, it's really hard to do it frontwards for some reason now. <laughs> you could do it backwards. Going the other way is kind of hard. I don't know why. It's just really weird. Alright. Well, get him on. Just hold up my scales. Yeah, a little quick dash in there. Now, I could wave shine in melee, but not very good. But I could actually pull it off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why people say this game is slow. I find this is very fast pace. <laughs> yeah, the controls are still kind of stiff for competitive play compared to melee because melee was so fluid. But this game has a lot of potential. Fox is definitely looking a lot better in this game, and he wasn't wrong. At first, it was fun. Yeah, Fox kind of sucks in this game, but in reality, Fox is actually looking really good. <laughs> he's fast. He's quick. <laughs> His reflector might uh, be badly nerfed, and it can't shine spike anymore. <laughs> But you can shine the ledge to guard it. And you can catch your opponents off by shining into them. <laughs> Let's say roll or dodge. I don't I think it's I think you can punish it. <laughs> now I'm only doing the shine fin, so yeah, see? There's a little bit of wave shine in there for you guys. Alright, well that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Super Game Buds. Thanks for watching.